In the meantime, we are very excited because we have a couple of special guests. <laughs> Shock Josh. Special is one way to put it. Opie and Anthony are with us today. And How you doing? We're doing great. Who Thank canceled? you for being on the big show. Who canceled? <laughs> that, that gets us on the show. Yeah. Somebody had to back out <laughs> but, because we don't get these interviews. We are the first TV interview, are we not? It's pretty much the yes. first sit-down interview. We've had cameras jammed in our face before and questions but asked. But usually but, like us going yeah. like this like and this, no please, comment. Nothing. Yeah. But so, so you guys have kind of been in a limbo for the past two years. Limbo is one way to put it. <laughs> uh, a rut and huge monotony is another way. I call, years. It, yeah. I call it in hiding, actually. Yeah, hiding, <laughs> seclusion, exile. Now, seriously, what have you been doing? Nothing. Really? It's awful. Well, we, uh, we, we, we got, we got uh, the boot. Yeah. Uh, a couple of years back for a, a little incident yeah. in a, a church in, in Actually, New York City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we got fired. We got thrown off the air by Infinity Broadcasting. But they were so petrified to compete with the talent pool that you see sitting here mm -hmm. that um, they held us to our deal. Yeah. Well, you know, and uh, two so, years. So that means you, you got paid, but you didn't work. Yeah, it yes. sounds good on the outside, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, after you know. about after about two weeks, you're like, mm -hmm. you realize there's nothing, nothing to do. To do. Yes. Nothing to do. Except play mm -hmm. golf and mm -hmm. travel the country and yeah. read. And, mm -hmm. and everyone you want to hang out with is uh, working. working. <laughs> everyone else is working. You're like, wow, this is great. You know, Because you kind of remember being out of work when you're 18. Right. And it was great. You call up your friends. They're all out of work. You play some cards. You go to the beach. You drink some beers. But now it's like, hey, what are you doing? I'm working, you idiot. What are you doing? You would have been too if you weren't such an idiot on the radio. So. Well, going back to the yeah, let's, let's, incident, uh, yes. we'll, we'll call it the incident. Yes. The incident, that's a, a good way to put ago, it. A couple years ago, I mean, looking back now, do you still stick to your decision to keep that content? We didn't then. My God, what an awful <laughs> choice of uh, entertainment that was. We, we look back at what we did, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it was, it was probably bad judgment. Um, and it, you know, it was definitely bad judgment. It was, <laughs> and it was... His idea, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. Whoa. Why do you always blame it on me? I don't know. No, it was, you know, as part of our show, we were always uh, taken to, to the edge, and finally we got slapped, you know. It, it wasn't supposed to go down that way, and if you have an hour, I could explain why, mm -hmm. but, yeah. you know, yeah, we, we learned our lesson, and we're moving on to XM Satellite yeah. Radio, so. But yeah. that, that's, that's from a loft. And you could point up, yeah, it's yes. Yes. Way up there. there. It's yeah, how does it work? Satellite radio. Exactly. Well, it's 300 um, miles up. It's subscriber based, yeah. so we are uh, we're not underneath that umbrella of the FCC as far as uh, indecency goes. You could revisit which is the nice. church then. No, you? we shan't be doing <laughs> no, that. No. No there are some interest. things that that you know go further, I think, than just FCC regulations. <laughs> uh, good taste, uh -huh. uh, morality, yes. and we're all about moving our show forward. So the next contest is going to be sex for Allah, actually. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> very nice, <laughs> very <Ouch>. good. <laughs> Now, See, it's a joke. We like to have fun, but you know, someone out there would be like, "That's not funny." <laughs> but anyway, we're getting, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're getting fitted for our spacesuits, and we're gonna be on a yeah. space shuttle soon to yeah to broadcast from the satellite. Yeah. They don't want us in their studios, <laughs> so we have to broadcast directly from outer space. Oh my goodness! Yeah. you guys are really cute. Look at this. Look at, look at that couple. Oh, thank a couple. That's couple. great. That's what we've been fighting off for two years. Those rumors. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Can anyone subscribe to XM for those watching this? Yeah, what the heck is that? You know, it's a subscriber base. So yeah, you uh, you know go on a, a XMRadio.com or okay. you you give them a call and uh, it's easy. It is. And you know something? Once you have it, I'm not just pitching it for us, which you know it's great entertainment people. <laughs> but uh, the, the music, the uh, the choices that you get, uh, besides regular radio now is really bad. It's it's. A lot There's of commercials no and a lot of the same music. A lot of music. commercials, and nobody's edgy anymore. They're so afraid that the FCC is going to fine them. Mm -hmm. uh, but satellite radio gives you the option now to listen without commercials to the music and listen to uh, unfiltered Opie and Anthony, you know? Mm -hmm. What more can you ask for? Yeah. What more could you possibly <laughs> ask for? Is it expensive? No. The whole XM thing? Cheap. It comes out to about, I don't want what, $10 a month? Yeah. $11 a month? Oh, that's month. really not bad mm -hmm. at it's all. Like, you know what this is like? It's like uh, cable. It's like HBO mm -hmm. for radio. You know, you could, get, you could set the rabbit ears up on your TV and you're going to get it for free, but the quality entertainment you're going to get, you know, you want your Sopranos and fun stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, as far as uh, uh, XM Satellite Radio, it's, it's like cable TV for, uh, for radio. When did you guys first work together on the radio? Ten years ago. Mm -hmm. We're it celebrating our 10th anniversary. Ten years ago out of Long Island, New York. How I remember kind of... a small 5,000 watt radio station in Fresno, California. <laughs> How did it come to be? I mean, were you friends before? Or how I, the whole thing? I was doing my own radio show, and yeah. um, I was in construction. Anthony was, as a matter of fact, Anthony was. was putting in air conditioners, air conditioning, oh, and funny. heating duct work. And, and he, uh, I used to write song parodies, and mm -hmm. kind of enjoyed uh, a couple that I, I had put together. 
performed him live on his show, and he kept inviting me back. And I told him, uh, I think I could show you a better life, so. <laughs> yes, and it was either that or Dianetics. <laughs> so I went with Opie. <laughs> when you all were putting your show together, and you were a major success for a long, long time. Right up till we really <laughs> screwed up. <laughs> Our Cleveland fan base was the biggest as far as uh, Huge. syndication outside yeah. of New York. I yeah. mean, they just oh, wow. loved our show. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it, it, did you think about who do we want to reach? Let's, let's get this demo. Let's get young men 18 to 34. Was that what you were doing? Did you think always about how am I going to make this show and what we do today reach those folks? Our goal was uh, men 18 to 49, and we did it quite well. Mm -hmm. We yeah. know what guys want to hear on the radio. It's simple as that. I wish we had more women uh, listening because sometimes these parties we put together are sausage factories, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing right now. We're kind of touring the country, and um, the fans that turn out, we love them. They have been there for two years. We haven't broadcast in two years, and the fan base is still huge. But I got to tell you, everybody that comes up to the table, dude, I love you, dude. dude. You're like, a lady comes up and says, hi, I'm a big fan here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, before, before we're out of love time, it. we have to talk about your event tonight at the Blind Pig. Mm -hmm. yes. What's Sausage going on? So. It is going to be a party. Yeah, we've been doing this now uh, in, in a lot of the cities that we were uh, big in on broadcast radio. And uh, Cleveland, huge. So we're going down to the Blind Pig, and we're going to tear it up and have some fun. Good. And when does your show premiere on the... October 4th. Very on good. XM Satellite oh. Radio. XM Satellite Radio. Mm -hmm. yes. and be prepared. <laughs> it's great to see you guys. You are warned here, Thanks. right? Thanks for having us. Hey, thank you. Thank you. We Out really appreciate it. At long last. Yeah. All right. We're going to be right back. Yep. Thank you so much. Thanks. That was really nice. Well, coming up, we're going to be talking about the Cleveland Browns. Tony Grossi has written a new book.